Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to use uh, the formal object. Uh, here's my simple scene setup. Uh, I will use these bricks as impact objects, this ground and this simple animated bending, bended box as an alien object. So, uh, if I will start simulation right now, uh, this uh, deformable object will not affect anyhow these bricks. Uh, because physics will capture its uh, shape at frame zero, at start frame. And so, we just uh, test. As you see, it doesn't affect anyhow on these bricks. So, to affect on these bricks using the formal object, you have to select it, go to Options, Open Custom Properties Allowed. Uh, here, you need to check on the formal unyielding checkbox and uh, use Custom Properties check button. Okay, uh, if I will start simulation now, that's what we will get. Uh, as you see now, uh, this uh, object affected on these bricks, but uh, not correctly. This happens because uh, uh, physics updates its shape each frame, uh, but not each sub-step. As you see, uh, uh, here I use five sub-steps. So that means that uh, in frame 10, as you see, this, uh, sh this object is here, and in the next frame, it's already here. So uh, uh, physics doesn't uh, uh, interpolate its animation between these two frames, and that's the problem. Uh, to solve this problem, uh, you need to use point cache modifier. So all you need to go to do is to select this object and create point cache modifier for it. Here it is, one. Uh, save it and record animation. So now I can check off band modifier, and uh, here is my cache animation. So if I will use uh, this object with point cache modifier right now, I will get the same result. And that's why, uh, as you see. The simulation again not correct. So uh, it's not enough to create point cache modifier. Also, you need to do is to go to playback type and set here to custom start. Uh, Refire will uh, set custom start automatically. So if uh, right now I will set here original range, I will start simulation. Uh, stop it. As you see, uh, Refire set it to play playback type to custom start. So if I will start it right now again. That's what I will get. Uh, Refire will smoothly interpolate its shape using this sub-steps value. So five sub-steps value for such a fast moving object is not enough. So I will increase it to 10. Make sure that the playback type is custom start. Only in this case, Refire will interpolate the uh, position of animated object between frames. So that's what I will get right now. As you may notice, simulation time now is uh, increased, but uh, this is the only way to use a uh, deformable object with physics. Okay. So that's our animation. Well, now to you, I will show you something more advanced. Back then, delete animation, delete this box. And here's my mariner character. Here it's animation. And as you may notice, between frame 22 and 23, his fist moves very quickly. Frame 22 is here and the next frame is already here. If I will use this object, uh, as you see, this object already has the variable annealing checkbox on and use custom properties on. So all I need to add it in the annealing object list. Uh, it's uh, I already have on cache modifier with a recorded animation. I will set playback type to original range just to see uh, how it works in this case. So uh, he hit uh, the wall at frame uh, 
23 but I will start summation with 21 okay uh, also I will uh, select these bricks impact only these bricks uh, clear this impact list add this bricks as impact object and I will add another bricks as an alien object so uh, and uh, these bricks I will define as an alien object uh, that's what I will get right now start simulation as you see this mariner just jumps between uh, frames the refire doesn't interpolate its animation so again to fix this you need to select it go to point cache model for properties and set playback type to custom start only in this case if I will interpolate this animation, that's what I will get now. Now we can 